Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the lead core question max area of iron. So you are given n by n binary matrix grid. And uh, y is a like, part of uh, iron. So we need to find the maximum area of iron in grid. And the uh, part of iron is connected like a uh, horizontal or vertical. In this case, uh, we should return 6 because this island is a uh, largest island so one two three four five six so yeah that's why we should be done six and uh, to solve this question uh, we need to uh, visit all cells like one by one and uh, i think a uh, breast first search is a, a good algorithm for this question so let me explain how to solve this question okay so let me explain with this example so let's say we are now uh, standing at this cell and to solve this question with breast first search, we need to uh, check four directions like uh, up, right, and down, and left. And uh, if you find uh, like a one, which is a part of island, then you can go the uh, the direction. But in this case, uh, up is uh, like out of bounds of grid, and the uh, left, right, and down is a zero. So that's why, uh, in this case, size of island is 1. And then let's say we are now standing here, this cell. In this case, um, again, check like up, left, right, and down. And uh, you can find 1 uh, in the down direction. In that case, you can go down. And uh, at least uh, the size of island at least 2. And then again, you can check the four direction from this cell. So like uh, up, uh, left, and right, and down. And uh, you can find the uh, one in the up direction and the right direction. But um, you already visit uh, uh, this cell. So in that case, we can't go um, like a up direction. So that means we need to uh, like a mark the cell uh, that uh, we already visited. So in this case, you can go on the uh, right, right direction. And then again, you can check four direction, like up, left, right, down. And then you can find the uh, one in the like, uh, left direction and the right direction. But again, in the left direction, uh, you already visit this cell. So you can't go left side, left direction. You only go to uh, left, uh, right direction. And then now we are standing here, and uh, again uh, check the four direction like up, right, down, left. And uh, these three directions are zero. And uh, you can find the one in the left direction, but you already visit this cell. So in that case, you can't um, go in the like uh, left direction. So that's why uh, this island is uh, 4, size of island is 4. Yeah, um, that's how you can uh, find uh, like a size of island. And in the end, you know that this island is a maximum area of island. So that's why output should be 6. So that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, Let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, get the length of grid row and uh, get the length of uh, grid columns because uh, we use a lot. So rows and columns equal length of grid and length of grid cell. And then next, um, visit it. Initialize with empty set and uh, max island this is a return value initialized with zero and first of all um, i create a, a nested loop to set or to visit all cells so for row in range and the rows and for column in range and the calls and then if current cell equal one and uh, current cell not in visited so which means a new place so max island equal max max island 
versus press pass search, and passing the current row and the column. After that, just return max island. So let's create a press pass search. So def press pass search and the row and the column. And first of all, we need to check current cell is a part of island that is not visited. So if current row not in range um, rows, so we check the like out of bounds in a uh, row direction and also we have to check uh, column direction so or column not in range also or current grid in visited already visited or current row and the column equal water in that case, just return 0. And then next, so we mark current cell as a visited cell. So visited add current row and a column combination. After that, return add plus 1 to size of island. Plus, uh, we have to check like a four direction so breast first search and the uh, row and the uh, column so we need a uh, four like like this and then uh, we have to uh, check the in the different direction so let's say like a plus one minus one and the uh, plus one minus one like this yeah, uh, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of length of row multiply length of columns because potentially we have to visit all cells like one by one. And the space complexity is also row order of length of row multiply length of columns because uh, potentially we have to add all cells to uh, like a visited variable. So Actually, there is a slight uh, improvement of this code. So let me uh, modify the code. OK, actually, we don't have to use this uh, set, uh, visit, visited variable. So in that case, we update uh, grid itself. So how can we uh, update uh, this uh, grid? So in that case, um, grid, if we uh, visit some cell, so update the grid itself with let's say minus one so in that case we have to modify the code here so if like a grid r c equal minus one and also we don't have to write this part yeah, actually, uh, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, this program also works. But uh, I'm not sure uh, we can modify the original input array. So you can ask the interviewer about that. So let me summarize step-by-step -step algorithm. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm of max area of island. Step one, initialize length of grid row, length of grid columns, visit it, and the max island variables step two start looping and visit all cells if current cell is a part of island compare the size of island step three in breast first search number one check current cell is a part of island that is not visited number two mark current cell as a visited cells number three check four directions and add plus one to the size of island so yeah that's it i hope this video helps you understand this question well if you like it, please subscribe the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.